let me let me speak with something which may relate to many of you. You're either a small business uh, and you probably need a large business or to help you a little bit, or you need some jobs and you need some revenue and you need some contracts. Uh, how can you do that? I'm going to tie a lot of things together here. Uh, one of the things in SBA, like a lot of the federal government, is focused on developing resilience and preparedness, making the nation more prepared to recover from disasters with the least amount of impact and recover as quickly as possible. That takes a lot of effort. It's also risk management because there's some amount of investment that needs to go into that. Folks will look at the investment which is needed and say, gee, you know, I haven't been hit by a hurricane in a while. I think I'm just going to take the risk and, uh, and hope it doesn't hit me again. Uh, that's not really a good way to prepare the country for things, and it's also opportunities which are being missed for a lot of small businesses. So one of the things that we're trying to do is bring small businesses into helping provide solutions for these, these issues. And we talk sometimes, you hear people talk about incentivizing a small business. I used to run a small business after I left the Navy and before I came into uh, federal government. And it does no good to incentivize me to do something which I'm unable to do. Yeah, I can, you can do that all day. You need to enable me to do things. Enable me to do something by potentially partnering with someone else who can help me in doing that. So when we go into a disaster area, and I'm, I'm talking uh, with uh, what we call now a continuum of a disaster. Continuum starts on the left side of boom, as FEMA calls it. Uh, so the preparedness and how you're preparing and mitigating and making yourself resilient prior to the disaster. Then the response, which is relatively, it's simple, it's not easy, but you provide food, water, shelter, medical care, and rescue. But once you get into recovery, an economic recovery that's much, much more difficult to integrate the public and the private sector to do the things which are necessary to restore the community. And this is where there's a lot of small businesses which can potentially help. But how do you get into this? And I want to commend a program which the federal government has been pursuing for the last couple of years. SBA has been in this for about four years now. And we call it the Regional Innovation Clusters. Uh, they tend to, as they evolve, become more functional and, uh, and less regional. Uh, I've worked specifically with the three advanced defense technology clusters of SBA. Uh, the one which is in Minnesota, which is uh, actually power and energy focuses in something like 17 states now. But what the, what the clusters can do for you is there's three, three F's. Think, find, filter, and facilitate. If you're a small business, you may think you have some great innovation but you really may not know the market very well, particularly if you're trying to market into the federal government or DOD, you may think what you have is innovative, but it may have been innovative six months ago, but it's not any longer, because the federal government uh, or some of these big commercial companies have already well gone beyond where you're at. So you're kind of wasting your time and money uh, with your focus that you're on the track run right now. So if we can find the innovative technology uh, and Government in particular is bad at prospecting for this because if you're a small business, uh, you can't read all the things which are out there uh, and tell you what the potential opportunities are. Once we can find innovative small business, then we can facilitate it. By facilitate it, you can take the technology which a small company has and you can maybe team them with a larger company. The larger company which can provide the entire solution that the customer is looking for. Uh, you can also meet, uh, help them get investment. Uh, a lot of folks don't want to invest in a small company if they don't know that their technology is really innovative. They don't know whether it has a commercial, it's commercially viable, whether there's a market for it in the government. Uh, the clusters can help facilitate that. Uh, and we also we filter out the things which really uh, are not uh, not really going anywhere. We can't do that as a federal government. That's just not the way it works. It can be done in the private sector. So what's a cluster? A cluster is a, is a, uh, a consortium of colleges, universities, entrepreneurs, investors, profits, nonprofits, and there's no one size fits all. They're located all over the country. Uh, SBA works 10 or 12 now. Uh, there's a total of 56 federal clusters 
you can get information on them. This is a very easy website. It's www.sba.gov slash clusters. And that can link you into a lot of information on these. And what's been happening, and we're seeing with the uh, companies in the clusters, we've had 700 and some companies now are in the clusters. Uh, the growth uh, of revenue is about 4.4 times above the baseline in the regions which they've been in. Jobs have increased, uh, they've got investment, all because they're working together in these clusters to help them succeed and bring these things into helping us with national resilience and national preparedness, uh, help recover from disaster, etc. And I'll just give you one illustration, uh, and I've got many more. Uh, some of the folks up here have heard me on this. There's a small company we work with in uh, North Dakota, and they have a uh, power chip about the size of your pinky nail. It's about uh, two grams is what the thing weighs. And uh, it can reduce uh, power consumption in a low demand system by up to 89% medium demand system by up to 21%. It can extend battery life by 67%. Uh, and it doesn't require a lot of reprogramming. It basically go into anything which has a voltage regulator. Think about what you're doing in your company and how that might match with what you're doing to make a better overall product. So again, I encourage you to contact the clusters and uh, see if you can team with them. If you're interested in talking to me more, I'm happy to talk about this. I'm passionate about it. My email address, again, is very easy. It's stephen.smith at sba.gov, and I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you, Thank you.